Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about continuous. So now I will show you how to answer. We need to find the value of a and b to make sure that this one can be continuous. So now I will show you how to answer. We have s is smaller than negative number 1. This is about the limit on the left. We have negative number 1, but s is greater than or equal to negative number 1. This is about the limit on the right. Because if we want to match about continuous, the limit on the left should be equal to the limit on the right. Now, we have this function in here. Now we can put negative number 1, go in here, here, and here. So we will have about 2a cosine of negative b plus b side of negative b over 1 minus negative number 1 now we put negative number 1 go in here and here so negative number 1 with positive number 1 you got about 0 negative number 1 negative number 1 you got about negative number 2 negative with negative number 2 you got about 2b and this one we have 1 over 2. Now we need to simplify this one. Cosine of negative b, you got about negative number 1. So you got about negative 2a. Side of negative b, you got about 0. 1 minus negative number 1, you got about positive number 2. And then we have 2b plus 1 over 2 so we multiply by number 2 for the both side so I will put for B cone here and we just have one equation in here now let's go to number 0 S is smaller than or equal to number 0. This is about the limit on the left. S is richer than number 0. This is about the limit on the right. So the limit on the left should be equal to the limit on the right. Now, I will put number 0 going here and here. So we have A. Negative B with negative number 1, you got about positive B plus 1 over 2. And now, about this limit in here, I will concentrate to find the limit of this one. So, in this situation, s to the power of 3, s squared divided by s squared. So, we will have about 1 minus cosine 3s over s squared minus b s minus a. So I will find the limit of this one only. So 
we have the formula in here. Cosine to a equals to one minus two sine a square in here. So cosine three x represent about one minus cosine two multiplied by three x over two. And then we divide by s square in here. Now we can apply this formula in here. One minus one, we cancel negative with negative. You got about positive, and you got about number two, side of three s over two square, over s square. Next, I will put about nine over four, nine over four in here. Because 9s square over 4 represent into 3s over 2 everything to the power of 2. That should be like this. So we have the formula in here. Side of AS over AS equals to number one. So this one in here equal to number one. So we simplify and you got about two multiplied by nine over four. And you got about 9 over 2. Because 2 divided by 4, you got about 1 over 2. And now, that means this one is about 9 over 2. Because if we put S approach to number 0 in here, you got about 0. So we just have only A, negative A in here. After we calculate about this one, the limit in here equals to this one. So, we put negative A go to the left and 1 over 2 go to the right. So, we have 2A plus B equals to 9 over 2 minus 1 over 2 and you got about number 4 and we have the equation number 2 now we have equation number 1 equation number 2 we create the system of equation so we put this one go in here and this one go in here and now we calculate about this one and we have the final answer a equals to 17 over 6 and b 
equals to negative number 5 over 3. And this is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.